In our previous tutorial, we have seen how we can store indexes or embeddings in our disk. And in this video, we will see how we can store in embeddings in Chroma DB or vector database that we can use to store embeddings and we can retrieve it from here to query our data. Let's see how it works and you will get this Jupyter Notebook in my GitHub page. The link is given in the description below and you will get all the important uh, packages information that you need to install in this notebook. So you can go and get it from there. Now first I am going to create LLM model that we will need to query our data. I will write here import OS from get pass import get pass and then from hugging face hub import login now i'm going to create token of this hugging face and save it in a variable hf token hf underscore token and then get pass now I'll get my API keys from here and save it here. Next I will create LLM model. For that first I will import hugging face inference API from llama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import Hugging face inference API I'll make a variable LLM and then I will call this hugging face inference API inside this I will pass model name and this time I'm going to use uh, LLM model from Google Google slash gamer 7b and then the next parameter is token is equal to hf token and let me print this llm model so we have LLM, this llm model that we have created now let's import or at, let, let's load a text file on which we are going to create embeddings and save it in the chroma DB. So I will write here from llama index dot core import simple directory reader and also vector index vector store index now let us load our text file and save it in a variable documents so i will call here simple directory reader and then input files is equal to paul underscore essay dot text and then i will call load object so I have to zoom this. Okay, it's better now. And then I will call this load underscore data. And then I will load this document here. So here in the output, you can see we have loaded our text file here now let me import chroma db i will write here import chroma db and then from llama index dot vector stores dot chroma import chroma vector stores and then from llama index dot core import storage context 
Now first we will create database and we will initialize the client. I will make a variable db then I will call this chroma db from this I will call consistent client and then the path where I am going to save this so my path is going to be let's say dot slash new underscore chroma underscore db because I guess I already have one folder chroma underscore db let me check here yeah so I have this chroma db and I will create this new chroma db let us execute our code and let's check here so we have created this new chroma db here now we will create collection so inside our chroma db folder we will create a collection i will make a variable chroma underscore collection and then i will call database object from this i will call get or create collection and then i will write here quick start Now we will assign chroma as the vector store to the context. So I will make a variable vector underscore store and then I will call chroma vector store inside this chroma collection and it is nothing but the chroma collection that we have created here and then I will call storage or I will create storage context storage underscore context then storage context from this I will call the method from defaults and then vector store is equal to vector store Now let's create index, create index, I will make one variable index and then I will call this vector store index, from this I will call from documents and then I will pass documents as the first parameter, storage context is nothing but storage context and then embed underscore model is nothing but local and then let us execute our code now let's create a query engine so now here we are creating this indexing now let's create a query engine create query engine query underscore engine is equal to index so it is still creating you can see that it is still running but by the time I will write this uh, so that we can save some time and then from this I will call the method as query underscore engine and then I have to pass LLM model so LLM is equal to our LLM that we created and now let us execute our code so this will create query engine now let's query this data I will write here a response and then query engine dot query and my question is what is the author talking about and let's print response so the author is talking about his experience with Lisp and how he tried to create a new version of it called Bell he also talks about how he stopped painting and started writing essays again so you can change this question and you can ask any other question 
So first we have to create an LLM model. Then second, we will load our text file and then we will create a vector database and you see the folder name that we have given and then here we will save our indexing and once we have saved it we can call this uh, indexing and then we can use it to create a query engine once we have a query engine then we can query anything and we will get the answer that's all for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching